Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final section within this series of mates and we're going to look at creating uh, animation of mates that have been applied to assemblies. Uh, if you check the previous uh, tutorials, okay, using the links on this uh, tab here, you can see that basically we've gone through this process of creating uh, a fasten mate. So that's the simplest uh, technique to understand and learn. We've then progressed, okay, in the uh, second part of the tutorial, applying okay, a number of different types of mates, ranging from cylindrical to ball, slider, and so on. Uh, we then, in a separate tutorial, okay, we looked at how can you actually apply offsets and limits, and then now we're going to apply okay, the master in terms of uh, animation. Now, realistically, okay, if you haven't followed through, okay, these different ones, okay, this obviously is going to be difficult to do because you haven't created, okay, the mate. So please check those previous uh, videos out. So if we jump into this now, once you're happy with all the mates you've applied and you've tested those out, you've added those offsets that you require, if you require them, and you've also added uh, the limits, you can then say zoom in on one of those particular mates. So this one is the Revolute. And if we find that in here, we can right click. If we need to, like I've done before, say I've been messing around, just, just moving it and testing it out. You can right click on there and go reset. If you right click on it and click show, that shows you, if you zoom in, okay, it shows you the actual, okay, uh, mate that's been applied. And of course you can okay hide that as well so if you don't want it to be visible um, if we right click on it so we could rename it we talked about edit we talked about resetting and show show all mates will basically turn all the mates on okay in the okay entire assembly so you see all the blue symbols appear and of course if you right click on that you can hide them all at the same time as well uh, the other options you've got in here is you can isolate and you can see all of this, okay, is isolated. It's just focusing on this uh, sort of assembly here where we created the mate. So you can do that and of course you can drag this up and then it starts to, okay, if I zoom out, uh, reveal certain, okay, parts. And if you also right click on here, you could even make this uh, transparent as well. You could suppress it if you just want to turn it off for now. And then we can also copy it and so on. Uh, comment, delete. If we have a look at animation, this is the interesting one. And we just grab this and I zoom in so we can see what's happening. Uh, we've got our values in here. These values have, have been copied from the limits we've applied before. We've got the playback types. If you click on playback, you just go single and you click play it will move, okay, within those limits and stop like that. And of course you can click on stop as well. If you click on that reverse, it will go in reverse like that. Okay. And we can also click on uh, reciprocate. And you can see how that okay basically goes back and forth and of course you can watch that all day or you can click on stop and then you've also got loop where you can loop it as well as you can see that's looping between the two it's not going sort of backwards and forwards as the ripper a reciprocate would do if I could spit out my words today okay uh, steps is you can adjust that and it will affect the okay how that uh, is shown and of course you can go in it and you can actually change these as well so you could say for example even though those are the limits uh, I want to view it between those uh, actually I change that so it's slightly so you can actually see the difference let's go to that and click but you'll see obviously it's just going to move between those two Okay, like that. So it's not going to the furthest distance I had before. And I'm just uh, messing around with those values there. Okay, of course I can X that out and uh, 
if I needed to, I could find it and I could uh, reset it just in case. And again, you could choose any of these. So we can have a look at the slider. We can, again, you've got all those different options we went through, but if you go animation, we can go to here. Again, these values are taken from your limits uh, and you can decide if you just want to show it singly. Like that. Okay, obviously really exciting. Not moving in that direction, but you could go reciprocate and that'll just go uh, backwards and forwards within the limits. Like that, obviously that's going quite slow. You can, uh, if I could stop, sorry, you can uh, reverse the playback if you wanted to. Steps, if I work that up to a thousand. Okay, and click play. Okay, you can see it's going even uh, slower steps, gradually moving. If we turn that down to say 20 and click play, whoa, okay, it goes really quick. So it's the number of steps between those uh, points, okay, there are values there. So if you wanted to go really quick, obviously put that at a lower number. If you wanted to go really slow, okay, obviously increase it and then it will go slower okay and click on the X so we've looked at the Revolut we've looked at slider there are some limitations if you go to so your fastened one and right click on it you will not have any animation because it's not going to go anywhere okay it's fastened hence the name but if you have a look at say this last one and we look at the cylindrical one and just right click and click on animation if i'm not blind today we can click on that value there we can click on play oops okay start type in some of these would be helpful change the value there we go Oop, there we go so it's catching up a little bit and you can turn this around and okay look at it from uh different angle zoom out okay so a little bit of a pain to get it but there you go so you'll see it's going to 25 millimeters from that surface and then the surface underneath of course you can stop that and you go actually i want to fire that up to say 50 uh, i do want it to go a bit faster and i click play and there you go like that really okay exciting obviously and if you click on here, you could just do a single one, so moving what you know, go up to there and stop. Uh, and if you want it to go really slow, like I said before, you can okay do that and then click play and you know spend your life watching that move. Okay, so click on the X and we just click F to fit that. And you can see we've done quite a lot okay in the this tutorial so please uh, check out the previous one if you haven't because obviously it will go through how to create each of these mates and then this tutorial goes through limits okay offsets and uh, animations thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description I will see you on the next one.